Oh no, that would be so expensive. You'd have to pay for the building. You'd have to pay for the car. You'd have to pay to get your ego back up. You know, like that's a lot. Mm-mm, couldn't be me. Oh. No. Was that all dust or what even was that dirt stuff? Oh my gosh, oh, ew, ew. Should he have been expecting that is the question? Should he have known that that was about to happen? I don't know anything about vents and fans. Not my expertise. You might be surprised to find that out. Why? Why? <laughs> no! What did you think was gonna happen? You're not freaking Spider-Man on the corner like that. <laughs> oh, that was funny though. I'm so nervous. Okay, that's dangerous. Somebody could have gotten really hurt. You can't just be dangling those things off the side of the building. I mean, I'm not a builder, but like, come on. Uh, hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlovsky, and together we are going to be watching some dumb employees who should have been fired. Should they get fired? Should they not get fired? That's what we're here to decide today on Dumb employees court. Let's get into it. <laughs> Before we get into the video, you guys, I just have some exciting news to share with you. Your two of your favorite hosts, Rachel and Dewey, are starting their own new channel called Bumblebee. Bzzz. Make sure you click the little link in our description box, head over there, check it out. The channel is launching on August 11th and you don't want to miss out on the very first videos. So go, subscribe, show them some love. Ooh! No! <laughs> Okay, no one anywhere should ever be made to skate, roller skate at work. No one should ever be made to do that. That should only be if you want to. I mean, maybe this guy wanted to, who am I to say? But like, oh, that, was, that scared me, Chris. <laughs> I really love Subway, but this is probably the worst oh. Subway sandwich I have ever <laughs> seen. like a massacre on that poor Subway sandwich. What did that sandwich do to you for you to treat it like that? Man. But like at the same time, respect to Subway sandwich artists because sometimes people really jam pack those things and I go, they do a great job every single time, you know? Getting it, keeping it all in there. Also, shout out to Subway for normalizing eating a loaf of bread in one sitting. That is what I'm here for. It took me a long time to realize what was going on here. He's just robbing them right behind this employee who's just like on his phone. Is he on his phone or is he working? Maybe he's so enthralled in the work that he's not quite noticing. And to that I say, is that a dumb employee or is that possibly the best employee you've ever had? I don't know. These are the questions we gotta ask ourselves. Oof. Oof. Not good. Not good. But was it his fault that the shelf broke? Guys, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm always on the employee side right now. I'm just playing devil's advocate. The other day, the restaurant I work at, I was had a dolly with about eight cases of beer on it, and I dropped every single one. And so sometimes... <laughs> 
It's not the employee's fault. It's just gravity's fault. What am I supposed to do about gravity? But uh, only one broke. The rest were just dented and dented cans go to the staff. So really, I'm just here for my coworkers. That's the moral of that story. Okay, at least he was laughing at the end, but like the Uber Eats in the back is gone. <laughs> the sauce is everywhere. The chicken wings have spilled out into the bag. Like that food is not going to the customer at this point. It's done. <laughs> Oh no! That was about as bad of a work mistake as it gets. That was catastrophic. Did anyone get injured? I hope not. I hope everyone was out of the freaking way. Uh, you would definitely get fired over that, right? I feel like you would. I don't know. If anybody works in that industry, let me know. <laughs> Mark, we'll do you. We'll do you. Okay. Doesn't the machine do that for you? Like about it. Does. <laughs> that celebration at the end by everyone being like, thank God we're not gonna be here for eight hours too long. <laughs> Why would they just give you a power tool only to have no power on it? Like, I'm not a tool person, but I felt like something was wrong there. You know? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Was that somebody's balcony? What, like, what was that? Why? Why? That's the only question that I have is why? Don't know what they're doing, so. No. 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 Why is everyone surprised when this happens? What did you think was gonna, did you think that this was really just gonna go smoothly? You moving something over a balcony with a vehicle parked below? Seems like a recipe for disaster. At the very least, if you don't care about the item you're moving, you could just move the car out of the way. But uh, hindsight is 2020. Whoa. really their fault and that was kind of sick too like how did they do that and then they all had their little flame and plates but yeah obviously the fire sprinkler was gonna go off and that is a good thing because that means that they're all safe at work which respect we love workplace safety <laughs> Guys, that's all the clips we have. We definitely saw some people who probably should have been fired, but we saw some people who just, you know, were having a hard day and really do deserve a second chance. That's my thoughts and feelings. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to Top 10 Central. You won't regret it, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna go now. So I've been your host, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see See you next time. Bye. <laughs> it's back out again. We're having some technical difficulties today. This video does not want to be filmed. You know, my eye is twitching. It's been twitching a lot lately. And I Googled, why does your eye twitch? And it said stress, dehydration, lack of sleep. And I said, good luck out there to myself. Twitch and I.